Good day, this is Dan Evans at Music Center Canada, uh, offering a free five-minute tutorial on tuning guitars and playing a few open chords. So what we're going to start with, we need to know that the guitar is pitched upside down. So your lowest notes are on the top of the guitar, but really we call them the bottom. Uh, so your highest pitches are going to be the first string, which is on the bottom. Now this is the top. So. Our first string, our top string, is E. So when you have an electronic tuner at home, E is going to be one, that's going to be your thinnest string. Okay, your second string will be B. Your third string will be G. Your fourth string will be D. Your fifth string will be A. And your thickest and sixth string will be E. So your electronic tuner will number and name each string for you for the most part. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with four open chords. Our first chord is going to be E minor 7. The name is somewhat irrelevant for now. We need to know that the shapes of these chords are quite simple and they're great for beginning. So. The first two fingers are now going to move to the fifth and fourth string, which are the second thickest, and the next thinner string on the second fret. First finger on the fifth string, second finger on the fourth string, on the same fret. Now, our third finger and our pinky finger are going to move to the first two strings. So now the third finger is on the first string on the third fret. Second string on the third fret. Pinky is now on the first string, third fret. So let's give a strum. Quite a nice sounding chord. The key with this is that the chords sound very clear. Clarity is one of the toughest things to get playing guitar. Especially with an acoustic guitar, since the strings are a little more tense than a typical electric guitar, you really have to push hard to make sure those strings make contact with those frets. So there's our first chord, E minor 7. Now our second chord is a very simple change. All we have to do is take our second finger off. Our other three fingers stay exactly where they are. We bring the second finger now to the thickest string on the third fret. Let's give that a strum to see how it sounds. This is a G chord. All right, so our next chord is very simple. It's a very simple change. All we have to do is move our first two fingers. The third and pinky finger can stay in the same place. We can move up one string. So now the second finger is on the fifth string and the first string first finger is now on the fourth string. Second finger, fifth string, third fret, first finger, fourth string, second fret. This chord is called C add nine or C sus two, depending on who you ask. So one chord left. We've gone through three chords that are quite simple. Now, our last chord will be D. Knowing that these two fingers can pretty much stay where, where they are, we could move our first finger now to the third string on the second fret. This is actually what we would call D add 11 or sus 4. The name is somewhat irrelevant, but just know that the shape of the chord is a simple change. So this would sound something like this. Okay. Now the only change you need to do to make this a typical D chord is you could take the pinky finger off of the third fret on the first string. You can add your second finger now to the first string on the second fret. That gives us our D major chord. A major chord is just a typical happy sounding chord. Okay, so notice the clarity and also notice 
the bent knuckles. That is a very important detail when you're learning some of these open chords. Bent knuckles give you much more space between the strings and it makes sure that your fingers don't push down strings that you don't want them to. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to play these chords in rhythm. One of the most important and one of the most difficult things to do is to play these chords to a beat. So the first little while you play these chords, it's very important that you give yourself time. Don't rush through these things. It's, it's much easier to learn the techniques quickly uh, by playing them slowly. Okay, so we'll start on our E minor 7 chord. Now for a quick reminder, that was the first two fingers on the 5th and 4th string on the 2nd fret. And now we have the 3rd and the pinky finger back in the same places. 3rd finger on the 2nd string, pinky on the 1st string on the 3rd fret. So I'm going to count in. Two, three, four, and E. Two, three, four, and G. Two, three, four, and C. Two, three, four, and D. Two, three, four. Now you can repeat the same things over and over and over again. And you can also speed things up as you get more comfortable with these first few open chords. Now these chords can play dozens, thousands of different songs. You can uh, mix them up in many different ways and write your own music with them if you so desire, which is something that most musicians prefer to do if there is some form of a creative outlet. So uh, that ends this tutorial on open chords.